Well, up first, let's get to the latest Indian data. And India recorded 22,065 new coronavirus cases in the last 24 hours, the lowest one-day figure in over five months. That's since the 7th of July. This takes the total COVID caseload to over 99.06 lakh. The number of fresh infections is over 18% lower than yesterday's. And 354 deaths in the last 24 hours have pushed the total death count to 1,43,705. And if we take a look at the uh, states that have reported the maximum number of cases and the maximum number of deaths, well, Maharashtra reporting the most cases at 2,949, followed by Kerala, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, and then Delhi with 1,376 cases. And if we talk about the number of deaths, then Maharashtra and Delhi both reported 60 deaths, followed by West Bengal, Kerala, Punjab, and Chhattisgarh. Now a worrying illness that is being reported in COVID patients in several cities, hospitals in Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Bengaluru and Delhi have reported a rare fungal infection called mucormycosis. At least two deaths have been reported in Ahmedabad which has been linked to this and two cases of eyesight loss have also been reported. Here's a report from Mumbai. Mucormycosis, a fungal infection, is a rare disease which is now affecting COVID patients, according to doctors. Dr. Parthorana, a retina and ocular trauma surgeon from Ahmedabad, has seen five such cases and he believes that this is linked to weakened immunity due to COVID. Two of his patients have lost their lives and two have lost their eyesight. In patients, what happens is that the immunity is reduced. That's why the COVID patients are growing in a very high speed. ये सबसे पहले आंखें पीछे फैलना शुरू करती हैं वहाँ से आंखें आसपास के जो साइनसेस होते हैं वो उसके अंदर जाती हैं एक बार वो ब्रेन में फैलना शुरू करती हैं उसके बाद हम ज़्यादा पेशेंट की मदद नहीं कर सकते और उसमें मोस्टली पेशेंट की डेथ हो जाती है। Several cases of mucormycosis are also being reported from COVID hospitals in Mumbai. Mucormycosis COVID के आने के बाद में भी हम लोग ने का it's a very fast spreading infection. It's a fungal infection that can be any part of it. If it's a bad thing, it can be involved in a bad thing. If it's a bad thing, it's a high chance of getting a bad thing. This disease is not able to come from any part of the body. But the most important presentation is the sinuses and the eyes. And then the eyes and the eyes are behind. Covid-19 patients who have had a lot of steroids या पहले जो ट्रीटमेंट प्रोटोकॉल में लोग टॉसलिसुमैप नाम की जो मोनोक्लोनल एंटीबॉडी थी वो यूज़ कर रहे थे इन पेशेंट्स में हम ये बीमारी देख सकते हैं। कोविड पेशेंट्स ऑफ़न हैव रिड्यूस्ड इम्यूनिटी एंड दैट मेक्स फाइटिंग इन्फेक्शंस मोर डिफिकल्ट व्हिच इज़ व्हाई डोज़ रिकवरिंग फ्रॉम and here in Delhi, the Sir Ganga Ram Hospital has also witnessed more than 12 cases of mucormycosis fungus. To talk more about that, we're joined by Dr. Manish Munjal, a senior ENT surgeon from the Sir Ganga Ram Hospital. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Uh, firstly, tell us about this disease. We're told it's a rare fungal infection. Yeah, it's rare, but it's not unknown. I mean, we have been treating this uh, mucormycosis infection in immunocompromised patients because it's a disease of the um, attuned, uh, attenuated uh, immune system. And we have been treating cases of mucormycosis in uh, long-standing diabetics, in transplant patients, in patients who have underlying uh, immunity disorders, in uh, also patients who are uh, on long convalescent therapy for different cancer regimes, and also finally the very old and frail people, because the, generally the immune system goes down. And uh, it's not unknown, the treatment module has been the same, early detection, try to treat it with antifungals as best as possible, and sometimes you do have to do some little mutilating surgery, and the most talked about is the the nose bone removal, sometimes the jaw bone removal, sometimes the eye. We want to let it not go into the brain because once it goes into the brain, the soft tissue of the brain, the, the antifungals just don't seem to work and uh, there's a, almost a near certain death then. Right, so doctor, but, you're saying um, it's something you've dealt with. Is there, is, is there yes. something different you've seen with COVID patients? Absolutely, absolutely. The COVID is an absolute new subset. Uh, Post-COVID patients... Um, because uh, there is an induced immunosuppression which is required for the treatment. 
whenever a patient uh, has COVID and he is not able to deal with the symptoms like breathlessness and uh, the excessive fever, the low saturation, this is because of a phenomena called the cytokine storm in the body where the inflammatory mediators, they overpower your body. So in order to reduce that cytokine storm, they are given a heavy dose of immunosuppressants, predominantly being IV steroids in uh, hospitals, which is an essential part of the treatment, and also oral steroids at home. Now, what does this do is that you want to win over the virus because it doesn't have any cure. And once you are giving these immunosuppressants, you are entering into the danger zone of... Uh, going to their side effects. One of them is opportunistic infections. And the fungal infection we are talking about, mucormycosis, is certainly one of the most deadly in that. So this is a new subset. It's a huge subset. And, and we are having so many... And is this being seen in India or is it being reported in other parts of the world as well? No, worldwide. Worldwide, it's being reported. We have got some case reports even from... Uh, the, um, uh, the Oxford uh, Hospital. There are some cases from Italy. But, and, of course, we are doing a multicentric uh, study soon involving other hospitals. I had a talk with the head of department of Lady Harding Hospital. There are four cases there. I had a talk with the Venkateshwar Hospital in Delhi. There are five cases with a few deaths there. There is Fortis Shalima. All these doctors, we have talked with them. We are networking. But it's a bit of a shock, and we are seeing it. But let me tell you, this disease is not a contagious disease. Do not panic. I mean, we are going over the end of COVID. We have to be positive. It's just that after COVID has been treated and you are making merry, let's not forget that you can be struck by this if you have been on immunosuppression and, God forbid, if you are also diabetic or having all those issues that I told you. So this is important to remember. So for That's viewers the only who are way... watching, who may have you know, suffered for, from coronavirus, uh, what do they have to watch out for uh, in terms of this particular disease? So first of all, you see you, whether you're in the zone of immunosuppression. 99% of COVID patients who had treated, got treated with paracetamol, hydration, sometimes even a little bit of oxygen need not be included in this subset of worry. It is only the ones who have been given steroids, even at hospitals, essentially, have been given immunosuppression. And uh, if they have some long-standing diabetes or a history of transplantation, uh, 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 underlying cardiac disorder, and any other reason which they think is causing immunosuppression, those are the ones who have to look out for these early nose and sinus and eye symptoms. If you have any uh, uh, numbness of your jaw, if you have a nose obstruction, one side, which is uh, a little bit not uh, wet like a nose obstruction, classical one, like a cold, but a crusty nose, you're feeling very dry, you're not able to smell and uh, uh, breathe through that nose at all. And if somebody points out or you point out that numbness, uh, along with that, you have some cheek pain or uh, above the area into the eye, you have some redness occurring, coming and going and swelling. These are the symptoms you must not neglect. No, do not take over-the-counter medicines. Do meet um, the um, concerned doctors around. A simple torch examination of the nose can reveal sometimes that black blackening of the inside no, of the nose or the jaw. And um, that can lead to an early diagnosis. And uh, the early diagnosis means that you are, of course, in the hospital for some antifungals. And uh, they can save you. Otherwise, in three to five days, it may have a fulminant course. Right. And if it goes to the eye and the brain, then, of course, there's a problem. All right. So there's a need to be vigilant if you fall in that risk. Katrika, thank Absolutely. you so much, uh, Dr. Munjal, for joining us and explaining this to us. Thank you.